Welcome to an introduction to rotational grazing. This key farm element can be part of a sustainable farming system that considers conservation of natural resources, farm economic sustainability, and produce safety. In the next few minutes, you will hear and see an overview of using rotational grazing from a whole farm planning perspective. Implementing rotational grazing into your farm system could cut down on your chemical fertilizer use, improve your soil health, and decrease your cost as a landowner. Rotational grazing strategically moves livestock to fresh pastures or partition pasture areas to allow vegetation and previous grazed pastures to regenerate. Because the forage recovers faster when not overgrazed, carefully calculating the number of animals that should be grazed in an area is important. Doing this will maximize the number of animals that can graze in an area for a long-term sustainability. For goat production, rotational grazing can also help with parasite control because species-specific nematodes will die off while pastures rest. Top grazing will help prevent goats from ingesting parasites because parasites specific to goats reside closer to the ground. Planting winter grazing in these areas provides excellent forage for the livestock and benefits for the soil, potentially reducing feed and fertilizer costs. Clover establishment not only improves soil health by taking nitrogen from the air for use by summer grasses, but also provides a high quality forage in the early spring. Proper fencing, either permanent, portable, or both, is a must. As in access to water in each pasture, shade, and management of heavy use areas. Fences can limit animal access to and control erosion around areas such as ponds, streams, and wellheads, protecting the quality of the water that you and your neighbors use for animals, produce, and other agricultural recreational uses. A properly managed rotational grazing system works well to promote a biodiverse ecosystem that enhances habitat for wildlife, pollinators, and other beneficial insects. Hedgerows fenced from grazing can be established on the edge of woody areas to attract beneficial insects like pollinators. Carefully considering grazing to harvest intervals will minimize food safety risks. The National Organic Program suggests an interval of 120 days when the edible portion of the crop has contact with soil and 90 days for all other crops. The USDA Natural Resource Conservation Service can provide financial assistance for the implementation of conservation practices through the Environmental Quality Incentive Program and the Conservation Stewardship Program. Clover and hedgerow establishment are common enhancements in the Southeast. NRCS and Extension can provide technical expertise to help implement rotational grazing on your farm. Rotational grazing is a common sense way to improve the conservation of natural resources, reduce food safety risks, and maintain your farm's economic sustainability.